I just want to take a quick minute and touch on one um, factoring idea that we didn't get a chance to talk about last night. And so if I had this polynomial, I notice it's, it's this middle term split up for me. So I have four terms. And we're going to look for zero, so I'm going to set it equal to zero. And our strategy has been to factor it. This is set up in a way that um, we can do what's called factor by grouping. So what we do is we look at the first two terms, and we just factor out what we can from those. And notice there's an x in both of them. So if I factor out an x, I'm going to be left with x squared plus 5. And then I do the same thing with the next two um, terms. There's a 2 in there, so I'm going to factor out a 2. Oops, I'm sorry, not x squared. That should just be x. I'm going to factor a 2 out of there. What I'm left with is x plus 5. And now, notice what happens is um, this x plus 5 is the same. So I can actually take it and factor it out. It's still equal to 0. Now factor it out. I take out the x plus 5. What's left is an x plus 2. And now it's factored, and now I can find my zeros. What makes this a 0? Negative 5. What makes this a 0? Negative 2. So this factor by grouping is a, is a, it's a nice tool to use when it's already broken up into four terms. And so one more example like this um, would be something like this. I'm finding zeros of this, so zero. So same sort of thinking. Um, notice in these first two terms, there's an x squared. I can factor out an x squared. I'm going to factor that out. It leaves me an x minus 2. And then these next two terms... Um, they, there's a 4 in both of them, and I'm actually going to take out a negative 4 because that'll leave my first, um, my first term in what's left positive. So if I take out a negative 4 from here, it's an x. Take out a negative 4 from here, it's a negative 2. And again, notice both those have an x minus 2 in it, so I can factor that out. So I'm left with this, x minus 2, and if I factor that out, that leaves me an x squared. Factor that out, that leaves me a negative 4. So great, this is factored, but then I notice this can be factored again. This is the difference of squares. So this can be, this is here along for the ride. This can be factored into x plus 2 times x minus 2. And then I get some zeros to, notice 2 is a repeated zero. So that'll be an instance where it just touches as an intercept, either from the below or above. And x is negative 2.